I'm and a it? bean farmer. Work, 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 work. Yep, we are, uh, it's Frozy and Charlie again, in case you didn't recognize us with our beards. Uh, we are going to review Bonanza. Bonanza, which... Is it Bonanza, like the TV show, or Bonanza? I don't know. To bean or not to bean? That is the question. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the bean farm. You always bean. To slough, suffer the hose and pesticides? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to give you some backstory about this game. You may never have heard of this game. Uh, or you may have. It's made by Rio Grande Games, and it plays two to seven people. It takes 45 minutes, which is completely subjective because this game can go much longer than that depending on how much arguing there is or who gets what beans. Mm -hmm. uh, but we got this. I used to subscribe to a board game subscription box, and I did it on a whim, and the first couple boxes were okay. We got some games in it we liked. Some we never played. Uh, some, yeah, there's still a couple that we've never played. Uh, but this was like in the, probably the second to last box I did. And I will say this is one of the hidden gems of games that we've ever gotten. This is definitely a game that you judge not by its cover. For yes. Sure. Yes. We because... saw it and we're like, what is this? We almost didn't play it. We almost did not play it. Like, we were like, this looks stupid. It does. It does look stupid. Looking at the cards, you know, we'll put a, a shot of the cards in there. Look, yeah. Looking at the cards, I mean, it looks dumb. It's very plain. And the artwork is kind of okay-ish. It's, it's fun. They, they have but, kind of some, I don't know, there's but the first thing, associations with the words and, yes. the, and the types of beans. The, the first thing that you're going to notice when you open up this box, though, is you're going to notice that on the bottom of the cards there are coins. Mm -hmm. However, there are no coins in this box. It is the back of the card. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. And it actually plays into the game itself. It does. Because the whole point of this game is to get stacks of beans, right? So if you're going to play the coffee bean, there's at the bottom, uh, if you have four of them, you get one gold coin. If you get seven of them, you get two gold coins. Ten is three, and twelve is four. And so each bean has a rarity, and some beans give you more coins for less stuff. Right, and on the bean itself, it tells you how it many cards tell. are in yep. the deck. So there's like 24 coffee beans, so each relative, wax beans. relatively common. But you play through the deck three times. Right. So you're going through, and then you know you get your beans, and you have to play you know the beans that come in front of you. So sometimes you have to like get rid of beans that you don't right. want to right away. Mm -hmm. But then once you cash your beans in, you flip over however many beans. Let's say we got 12 of the coffee beans. You flip four of them over, they turn into coins, and you keep those. Right. The rest of them go to the discard pile. Right, so it becomes this almost like cow, uh, card counting. Right. Who was keeping what out of what? So you know, okay, so when we shuffle again, there's actually only 21 exactly. coffee beans. Because they had three coins from that. I honestly don't know how involved anybody gets when we play this as far as the counting goes. But for like, for instance, this red bean over here that I can't pick up. Uh, you can cash five of them in for four coins. So one goes back in the deck. Right. There's eight of these beans in here. So if one person cashes out five of them for four coins, now there's only four of these beans left in the deck. Which means no one can ever get to that five again. Right. So if you don't realize that and you keep this in play. Keep on sitting on it. And you sit on it four hoping for that fifth. It's just never going to happen. Like I said, I honestly don't know how many. Right. Because anybody plays also at the end of the game, when the game is done, you don't get one more chance to no. harvest. Like no, you have done. to harvest on the last turn you have. And if you start to that last turn based on cards or whatever, people, uh, you, so you have to start figuring out how many turns are left. And so you know when to harvest because I've left four yeah. I've left four coins on my table before because oh, I yeah. realized how much it was left. Yeah, you know, and I think the bread and butter of this game comes in the trading. The right phases. Definitely. So you during your turn you have to play. This is an interesting mechanic: is you have to keep the cards in, in order, order in your hand. You can't if you're a magic player like me and you 
you cannot like play you, with your uh, cards and shuffle. So screw that up once or twice. Right. You have to keep them in order because at the be on the beginning of your turn, you have to play whatever card is in front. Your very first card, whether you want to or not, you have to do it. And there's not a window you can trade before that card goes off. Correct. If it comes to your turn, you're playing that card one way or another. Yes. And if you don't have spaces in, as far as your fields, either two by starting or you can purchase your third bean field, you have to harvest something. Yes, you have to get rid of, rid of one of your stacks of beans. Whether or not it makes you money, whether or not you're one away from upgrading or whatever, mm -hmm. you have to play it. So then you get two cards off the top of the deck in front of you. Right. And that's where the chaos comes in. Because those two cards can be traded to other people for cards in their hand. And that's when it turns into like an auction house. Yes. Where people start yelling, oh, I need the I need the wax bean, I'll give you two coffee beans. You know, and people just start trying to one up and one up and one up each other and yell over each other. Right. And like, if you're a quiet person, you're kind of timid or whatever, you're not going to get very far in this game. Which is ironic because I am a very shy and quiet right. person. Until you play beans. But I'm jumping on the table, I need that card, and I'm jumping and I'm pointing and throwing cards at people. Right. Because I need that card. I right. get into this game. And it is. It's just It's just stupid fun. It's another one of those games doesn't take itself too seriously. You can tell that right by looking at the box. Yes. And it, it's just fun. It's a it's a pretty quick game, maybe, depending on how many people you play with. It, right, very, it also depends very, how much your trading goes on, because like you said, we can yes. have people fighting five minutes on one flipping card. Yes, Bambi, my daughter, takes forever on her trade turn because she won't just like make a decision and go. But there's a couple of expansions for this game, and we have them. We have two of them. I've got a, a princess game, a princess expansion, and yeah. there's a pirates expansion. I've got two, and I think there's I think there's like four or five. There's a couple of them. Some of them are expansions. Some of them are standalone games yes. with the same theme of the game. With beans. There's a gangster one, I think. Yes. That's beans, but it only plays four people. So we've never played it. There's another one that only plays two people, and it's a standalone game. There's, yeah. it's 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 interesting how it works. It is. How's the thing? So some of them will integrate perfectly with original Bonanza. Most of them actually are self-encompassing games because they have the being specific to it. But we took one of them, and since we play this a lot. You're supposed to take out some number of beans or some sure. cards. Like if you're playing a full seven players, you're supposed to take out the coffee beans. Oh, are you really? Yeah. See, we don't, we play, don't even play by the rules. We like, to, we like to have the game last as long as it can. Yeah. And so there's no reason to take cards out. So I think we, we screwed up once and, and shuffled in an expansion did, too. So. That we ended up with like 48 coffee beans in our deck and our deck was like this big. I don't know. So we had to reset it. Yeah, so we had to pull everything out and redo. Although we just played that game because... Right, right. So, like, for instance, the Pirates game, it's very similar to regular Bonanza, but you have the option to send your beans off on a ship off somewhere, and if they make it there, you get extra coins. However, they can get stolen by pirates, and you get oh, nothing. Oh, that's right. We played that one. That's right, the one yes. with the boat. Ships, yes. I'm sorry. Ships, they're not boats. God damn it. Schooner is a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I you know, I definitely suggest picking it up. I can't imagine, like I said, I got this in a subscription box, so I have absolutely no what no idea what this real retail is for. I, it, I bet you you can pick it up for ten bucks on eBay. It, uh, I bought um, oh, our, yeah. I bought our copy on Amazon. I think for twelve bucks. There you go. You can find it in stores. I found the expansions in a store in Chicago that I bought right. a couple of them, and they were like. 15 bucks. Oh, and you got one for $5 an expansion off of the Miniature Market sale, too. Didn't you? Perhaps. We um, ended up getting those, some of the cheap games off Miniature Market, and I think one yeah, of them was that's right. Yeah, I think that's where I got one I think one you got one of the expansions mm -hmm. there, too. Overall, I'm going to give this uh, Amish 6 out of 7, which is crazy, because it's just, there's like... Well, this is it. It's, yeah, it's, it's just it's silly. Fun. I don't even care. I'm going to echo Amish. It's, it's a fun game. Replay value. It works better if you get into the game yes. and really get cutthroat with the game. If you just go, okay, trade, trade, and just kind of keep oh, it, yeah. keep no, it that's like that, no good. keep it mellow, it's more fun if you get into it and get cutthroat. And sometimes, just to spite your opponent, you slide them a card oh, for free. Yeah. That's the other thing. You can donate. Instead of trading those two cards I was talking about earlier, you can donate yes. one, them, one or both of them to a player, Yes. and they have to play them. If no one wants those cards and you don't want those cards, you can give them to whoever you want. And sometimes there's people throwing cards at you. You take the card, just bold face stare at them. Oh, yeah. People get pissed. Plan it yourself and, and then, you know, just take it and just People bam. get pissed. Yeah, you or can... someone's offering you trade, offering you trade, donate it to somebody else. Yep. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's rivalries made yes. while playing Beans. 
There has been some name calling and some swearing. And your wife, your really, wife gets mean when we play this she game. She does. My wife gets mean when we play this game. Yes. I like to give the the cards nicknames. So there's a chili bean in here, and for my Simf Simpsons reference, I call them chili willy. So I'm chili like, willy. I want your chili willy, which is not good. No. Or there's a stink bean. I want your stink. See, oh, yeah, okay, so this is a pole bean. This is one of the expansion beans. Yes. This is not one of the originals. No. Listen, I would just suggest, look it up on Amazon. If it's 12 15 bucks, whatever, buy it. You um, easily get your money's worth. Yeah, it's a fun game. Replay value is, is off the roof. And I don't even think we play the game right, honestly. No, we make it I, last I longer because we, we yeah, want it to yeah, last longer. Just, yeah, we just do whatever we want with this. We appreciate you watching the video, guys. Go ahead and uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and subscribe. If you have any uh, games you want us to review, leave those in the comments. Or if you have any questions about beans, leave those in the comments as well. We always like hearing from you guys. Take it easy. Dun -da 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 -da. Bonanza! Uh -huh.